Welcome everybody and good night. Welcome to Nil Talk Live. Yay. It's Tonight go it's going to be about cartoons. Cartoons. We love cartoons. So. Yes, we do. And which is your favorite character? character? Um, Looney Tunes, but we'll Looney talk Tunes. about that yeah. later on because yeah. we have a great show waiting for you. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, mini waiting for you. Look at her. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. Yeah. And then we have Bambi. Bambi. Oh. Mm, very nice. Kind of realistic. Huh? Yeah, very much. Made by uh, uh, a couple of our trainers, of course. Mm -hmm. I am Jessica Potberg. I'm an international magnetic trainer. I uh, work for six years now for the company Magnetic Nail Design. And you are? I'm Henriette Svensson, and I'm from Denmark, and I'm a brand ambassador at Magnetic. And together with you, we are going to make a fun evening. But before we uh, go to the show, we need to say, let's, let's get, get started. started. Jessica, last, just a little bit before I ask you which character was your favorite, mm -hmm. can you tell me about it? Yeah, of course, of course. Well, when I started to draw, because mm -hmm. when I was a little girl, I loved to draw. Mm -hmm. Never go outside to play, but just making cartoons. Started with Donald Duck, uh, Mickey, of course, Minnie, but then later on, uh, those Looney Tunes came by, and oh. I really love, because those characters are a little bit crazy, a little bit funny, outgoing, outspeaking, so that's kind of like me. A so little bit crazy. A little bit. A little Just bit a tiny crazy. bit. Just a tiny bit. And do you have a favorite cartoon? I actually have. Mine is Winnie the Pooh. Oh, uh, and it's cute. because he is always so happy, mm -hmm. eating honey all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he have a, a, a quote yeah. he always saying that you need to promise me that you will always remember that you are braver than you believe, mm, stronger than you there. seem, and smarter than you think. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. And that I like, and that I would like to send out to you. Aww. You have to remember that all the time. I yep. agree. Yeah. I agree. Perfect. Spoken from a wise bear, huh? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, as we already uh, told uh, our viewers, uh, cartoons are popular. And yeah. For the last couple of years, even growing, huh? Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. In different ways. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I started a long time ago, and I love to uh, paint those in with the master paints. Oh, uh, did that you? That we have in the collection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very nice. So acrylic paints. Yeah. Uh, mixed with water, but then I found gel polishes. Yeah. And I know you love to paint I love with gel polish, to yeah. paint with gel polish. Yeah. You can do everything with gel polish. Yeah. I started to do uh, with gel polish, and nowadays I do it only with gel polishes because those gel polishes and even our gel polishes are perfect yeah perfect it's totally perfect and i love how you can blend and play with the colors make them stronger mm -hmm. if you want and yeah. you can just mix and match to get your own color yeah also and we so have a lot of beautiful perfect collections but i love uh, one collection most mm -hmm. do you know which one i mean uh, maybe i have an idea yeah yeah should we go see let's do and I'm on the roll Just me.
I am in love with this collection. It's totally amazing, it and is. I love the color and the brightness in it. Yeah. yeah, and because of the brightness, I really love to work with this collection as a base for my cartoons. Yes, it's also a very good idea. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know what a good idea is as well? Mm, yeah, I have an idea. Tell us. Mm, if you're not following us on YouTube, then I will say you have to do it. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you do not follow us already on YouTube, you need to subscribe. Yes. And put on your notifications, of course. So that way, every viewer has a pop-up yeah. when something is new is uh, on our uh, face, um, uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. And how is our YouTube channel called? Magnetic Nail Design. Magnetic Nail Talk. Very oh. good. No. Sorry. Yeah. Magnetic Nail Talk. <laughs> and uh, please... Thumbs up and have fun. Yep. Just have fun. Just have fun. So I am, I need more fun. Yeah. And we have a beautiful demo waiting for you guys. And that demo is made by yours truly, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay, it's mine. Yay, you are going to do and show us all how you make a Mickey. Yeah, but just in another different way. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay. So it's with his trousers and so, yeah. Really? I hope I hope you can see what I mean with it. Well, let's see mm -hmm. and find out. Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a little funny Mickey. This is the Mickey I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's a little bit different from others Mickey. So yeah, let's get started. I will start with the uh, empty tip and I will use widest white. Of course, we will use two layers of widest white, like a full cover. So now it's ready to cure. So now I have cured two layers of widest white and now I want to m remove the sticky layer from the gel polish. And that I do with prep and wipe like this. So it's off. And then I take my hygiene buffer like this and I just buff the surface like this. So now we have buffed the surface and removed the dust. And now we are going to do some splash. And for the splash, I use a hard brush and some black air nails paint. So now you have the paint on the brush and then you splash it all over the nails. And now we are going to put on some uh, base on top. And it's just because I think the base on top is very thin and it will not make the nail as thick if I use a top coat over this layer because we need some other layers. So I just like to use the base on top for this. So we put a layer like this. And then we cure. And when you have cured the base and top, I always, sometimes I sketch my work. And this one, I like to sketch it. So I use a normal pencil for this. And I will start sketching just like this. So we start with the belly. And we only need a sketch, right? So now we have the belly and I have, a, I have the sketch ready for you and I will show you how I have sketched it here. So you can see the belly, the top and the ears right here. And you always just use your pencil to sketch around and do your thing. Now we will start painting the Mickey and I will start using Maze Choice 2020. I put it on my paper palette here. I really love to work with Detailer One. And then we fill out everything here. And as you can see, you can see the dots in the back of Maze Choice, so I will always, in this kind, 
use two layers. When you have painted the red colors, now we are going to the black. So I will use some black as black and I will put it also. And again, I will use my detailer one and I will sketch it out. Paint the ears. And I will just continue painting until I have it. Okay, so now we have the Mickey, but now we want to do it more alive. So now we want to play with some shadows. And for the shadows, we are using black is black and a base on top to mix it. And we also use white is white and base on top and mix it. And then I always have a little dot of base on top with nothing. Now I want to do the white part of the um, shadows. So I take some of the whitest white, mix it with base on top, and I take something on my pencil, and I just need to start here and make a dot. And then I will pull it up here, like this. So I have the start here, and I just move everything on my brush, and then I take some base on top, just totally clear, and then I dab it so it looks like it's in the design. Just like this. And then I cure. So now we will make the shadows of the ears and I will show you how. I will put a dot here. And like I did at the other part, I will just drag it around just like this. So, and then I will dry my pencil and take some base on top and I will do the same. Okay, so now we have the white shadows and now we are going to use uh, do the black shadows and it's because it will give you some more depth in it. So, and for the start, I will use liner gel mixed with Cerisa's Sweeties and that combination I really like. And I will just here Drag a little black line here, just like this. I will just refine it. When you have made the little line, now it's time to do the shadow with uh, black is black mixed with base and top. Now we take black is black mixed with base and top and we make the shadow all the way down the line. Now I want to show you how I do the last part of the shadow at the bottom of the Mickey. I just have some black is black and base on top again and I will just drag it all the way through here just like that. When you have cured that we are going to make the small yellow dots at the Mickey trousers. So I will use pineapple and I put a little bit on my paper palette and I take my dotting tool. There is a small dot and a big dot, but I am using the small dot. And I take some pineapple on it, and then I will make the small. Dots and sometimes you need to make them bigger, smaller, and we will make a dot more. Here we take black. And base on top. And then we put it here, underneath. Now it's the last part, almost. But now I just want the dots to pop even more. And to go there, we need some lines, some fine lines with Black is Black and Cerisa Swedish. And I will show you. And I just put a line there. 
it's very small. So when we have cured everything, we will put on a top coat and you can use whatever kind of top coat you want, but I like the matte, so I will use extreme matte for this. And then we cure. Okay, now we are done and I want to show the, you the end result. Here is a little Mickey and I just draw uh, Mickey Mouse and here is the result. And those small Mickeys you can use uh, do with a dotting tool. It's super easy. And now I want to show you a little thing you can do with Disney. That's what I want to show you today. Hope you liked it and love to see your work. Wow! Yay! Really cool! Huh, it Hiata? was a different way to do a Mickey yeah. and I just thought it may be uh, s if you are a starter, maybe it's easier way to do it like this, so there is no eyes and uh, character of the face, and so yeah. it's just around circles, and two smalls, and yeah. then it is there. And you really see Mickey because the trousers are, and of course his ears are a signature mark yeah, it uh, is. for Mickey Mouse. Yeah, and but I love the nails next to it, but made with the dotting tool, just three dots, but yeah. it's really Mickey Mouse. Yeah. And really the cool. three, the small Mickey I made, it's very simple. You take a big dot and two smalls, and then you have a Mickey. Wow. So, yeah. But Mickey is not, uh, <laughs> sorry, Mickey, what is Mickey without Minnie? Nothing. No. So Do we have a Minnie? We have a Minnie. Oh, yeah, of uh, course. From our trainer. Huh? Yeah, Angeli uh, Angelina. Angela. Angela. Yeah, Valeskis. from Italy. From Italy, yeah. yeah. Should we look? Agree, yeah, Go perfect, ahead. can't wait. Oh, she's drawing with a pencil. Yeah, with like a pencil. I did. Yeah, mm? yeah. That's nice. And you see a piece of paper underneath. Yeah. So first bigger and then smaller. Oh, and now she is. Oh, so with spiritual awakenings and a mixture, I think, huh? with yeah. uh, the supreme finish. She sketched the mini. Yeah. Do you also sketch up the mini with gel polish before you cover it out with the colors? Well, I'm a, I'm a trainer mm -hmm. and I do sketch like this for my students to mm -hmm. let them see what I see in my head. Mm -hmm. But to be really honest with you, uh, in my salon, I do not. No. I just go with the, uh, well, for instance, uh, the, se uh, the center of the, the, the nail mm -hmm. that you see right now. She starts with the eyes and then the nose, but I would do the nose uh, Already the black, yeah, and then the eyes white, and then yeah, yeah. I will do the same. Okay, yeah, it it's works the same. easier, uh, faster for yeah, me. Yeah, like much that. faster. But as a viewer, uh, you can really see what is she going to make now, yeah. and this is going to be that cute little mini mouse. That cute little mini mouse. So she's um, painting, and just uh, following those sketch lines uh, again yeah, uh, with that mixture. I think she's using the rainstorm detailer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, I brush. agree, I agree. Yeah. Uh, real hairs yeah. ha has that brush. So That's really very nice. Yeah, you can choose eh, if you want to uh, paint with synthetic hairs or with real hairs. It has a different uh, end result, a, yeah. a different way of working uh, yeah. with your product. And I think it's depending on who you are, what you like to work with. Yeah. 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 And it's not really you need to have this brush and you can only use this brush. No, no you need to find your own uh, exactly. brush. Exactly. What works for you. Yeah. And you can work with uh, more kind of brushes. Yeah. Magnetic yeah, has course. a lot of amazing we brushes. We do, we do. Oh, so now? So, the nail plate extender, yeah. uh, a gel polish, eh? and a gel polish is really perfect to work with your cartoon uh, to paint it in. Yeah, nail plate extender is my favorite. Ah, yeah. I use Mine it all too. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect for shadowing and yeah. faces. Faces, yeah. yeah. Of I really course. love it. Now, and she's now really filling in uh, the face of Minnie. Yeah. But really um, looking that you do not work too thick. No. And she is not going totally over uh, the brown no. lines. No. No. Exactly. Later on, you will see uh, 
why. Yeah. And right. now she is using Mace Choice oh, 2020. I it's love that color. Also one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. I really love it because I use it's this color a lot. Yeah, and it's uh, a real bright red. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I really love it. I agree. So it in has the gel polish, you said a uh, high coverage. Yeah. Uh, so uh, one or two layers, and then you have everything perfect yeah. in color. And now it's liner gel black. Yeah. And the I just wanted to say that yeah. the thing I like with magnetic gel polish is that they are so easy to work with in nail art also. They are so covering, so yeah. you don't need so much, so you will not get the bumpy thing in the nail yeah, I agree. when you're done. It's just smooth yeah. all the way. Yeah. And you need to really uh, pay really close attention that you don't work too high because otherwise you get curing problems. Yeah. So you need to work thin. Yeah. So liner gel, high pigmentated, eh? mm -hmm. uh, black, and now white, white for the eyes. Yes. Oh, it's going to be alive. Aww. And How now she's going it? over those first sketch lines eh? made with the first brownish gel polish color. Mm -hmm. And now going over those again. And maybe it's also doing it a little bit more easy to make uh, the lines a little more roundish. Yeah. When yeah. you just have the brown background and then the yeah. black, because you will not see if there oh is a... Oh, look, look, look. Oh, how cute. And she have made some highlights. Yeah, for highlights. It. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. A little bit blending. Oh, oh shading how cute. Some oh, beautiful. And those lashes. Mm. So beautiful. Thank you, yeah. Angela, for showing us. Yeah, and drawing out your designs and really yeah, do something to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Then you know where the lines are and you know where to fill out. And yeah, yeah it's where very, very good. Everything needs to be in center mm -hmm. in place of your design. Yeah. So this is a really perfect uh, uh, yeah, way to start your cartoon, of yeah. course. Yeah. And it's perfect also for painting faces, as we said at earlier. And what's more lovely to show some other gel we polish. have a beautiful collection yeah. uh, that you can uh, use for painting uh, in the faces and yeah. the bodies, of mm -hmm. course. They are very good for that. Perfect. Should I we see love it? that. Yeah, yeah. Let's we see. We should. It. Beautiful collection, Very beautiful. the creams collection. The creams collection. I use those a lot. Yeah, and I really like it because they have their own tone yeah. of skin. Yeah. So it's possible to work with it in every kind of way. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you can mix gel polishes together as well because I use one of those, the pink uh, mm -hmm. cream, but I mix with a little bit of ochre yellow oh. to get that tone. I have a different tone than mm -hmm. you have uh, for my skin color. I need to try that. You need to. And when we spoke about you, well, you also have a great design I for us. I do, I do. Yay. I have a cute little, maybe you don't know it, I don't know, toothless? From do Train the Dragon? You do know. I love that little dragon. Yeah, it's so, so sweet. so sweet and cute. Yeah, and I have a demo waiting for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go see what I made for you. Hey everybody, so tonight the show is all about cartoons and boy, I love cartoons. I'm going to make this for you. That cute little toothless. Love that movie. So are you curious how I've made this? Please stay tuned. So let's start with the backgrounds. I already prepared my background. I love this color, a nice poppy color called Pow Purple from the Pop Art Collection. And I uh, already put some drops on my stone. I'm going to uh, first paint and with this color. This is the spell book and this is cool gray, a lighter gray. So I'm giving a little 
drop on my brush and I'm going to make my outlines with that spell book. So this is just a sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's for you to know where everything is going to be. All of my outlines are cured. Now uh, it is time to color in my toothless. But first, I'm going to add some drops, the spaces uh, from the eyes. And that way the coloring in will be easier. So a little bit of the apple martini on my detailer one, and let's go make some eyes. So again, this do does not have to be perfect. You can correct later on, but making the eyes first is for me easier for the composition of your cartoon. And of course I've made the outlines uh, with gel polish, but you can use a pencil if you want to, whatever works for you. Focus on that your gel polish is not too thick. I'm going to add some red in its tail too. This red is Mace Choice 2020. Love this red color. And I'm going to add the cool gray gel polish for the little fishy. He has a little fishy in his mouth. Now I know where everything is going to be. I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. So everything is cured. Now it's time for Spellbook to color in my cute little toothless. So of course you can switch brush, but I'm staying with my detailer one because I have more control yeah, using this brush instead of the detailer three, for instance. So I am just adding bigger drops, removing excessive products uh, from my brush and fill in until the lines that I er made earlier. And cure, and then go back for the head. Or the other way around, of course. So, all of the color, the spell book is uh, cured, and now I'm going to add some shade. And I'm going to start shading in the eyes, that beautiful apple martini, with a little bit of neon green gel polish. So the neon green is a gel polish, this one, but it's a little transparent. You don't need much. I'm just adding, following the outside of the eye, like this, and on the other side too. So I'm rolling my brush to remove excessive products, a little bit of base on top, and just fading it out. I'm giving this a flash, so 10 seconds cure, and then I'm going to shade the body. Okay, so the eyes are done, now I'm going to shade something of his body, of course. So I'm going to mix, I'm going to mix Spellbook, uh, that grey gel polish with black as black gel polish. So, let's go to my stone, a little bit of that black as black. And you can add, uh, of course, use just plain black uh, to shade in, but it's already really dark. And I'm really looking for that dark gray color to keep it more soft. Okay, when I have the perfect color, I'm going to the body. It's head give some shade to the body. So I'm going to start by adding some drops and next to the fishy, I'm going to roll my brush clear of products. And of course I can shade, I can blend in, but now this is a cartoon. So I'm just following the round lines to make it even more cartoonish than uh, instead of working more realistic. Then I will blend in every shade color. So my shading is done. Now it's time for some highlights. Of course, highlights need to be white, huh? but I 
well, I love to play with color, so I'm going to uh, use a softer color, the light gray, uh, matching perfectly with that gray background. So the cool gray gel polish is what I'm going to uh, use. So as you see, there's some mixture going on. I've mixed liner gel white uh, with the cool gray gel polish to give it more um, structure. It's more thicker then. And again, filling my brush. This is Jessica's choice for those thin lines. And now to my design. So now I am following all of those lines again. Like this, thin lines. Of course, the front side of its wing. The inside of the wing. And a little line going up. And the upper side over here, a thin line as well. So now the really outlines um, are next. I first am going to paint in uh, the eyes. I'm going to use Black is Black gel polish and then moving on to that liner gel to give those bold outlines for the cartoon design. So the eyes I'm going to make with gel polish because this is more thinner. And I am giving some dots, cute little eye, and pulling it a little bit up like this, and then the outlines. So just a flash cure and then the lines. I'm going to make the outlines with uh, the liner gel black. Jessica's choice, thin lines, love this brush, sharpen it and go to my design. Let's first start with the mouth because that fishy is in its mouth. Little nostrils. Liner gel is a thicker product and it stays in place so you can work all your way around before curing. All of my outlines are done and I just need to add some highlights into those cute little eyes and then I'm done. So let's see. So what I'm doing, just adding two dots in the center of its eyes, like this, a uh, flash cure, and then top gel. So everything is cured, time for the top gel. Of course, I am going to use two layers of top gel, and the first layer is going to be the base and top because of that flexibility, love that top. But a dry nail wipe, excessive pigments need to be taken off. So let's see what I'm doing then. The dry nail wipe, just pressing down, and maybe you get some and maybe not, but just to be sure, not everything is running uh, with your basing top width. So this top is going to level out everything. Curing time, 30 seconds, and then the extreme mod over this layer. Okay, so the extreme mod top gel over that first layer of base and top, and this is my end result. So I really love cute little toothless with a little fishy. This was my cartoon design for today. Hope you liked it and enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. How cute was that? Yeah, with a little fishy. Yeah, <laughs> it was so sweet. And, yeah, and I really love your trick with the, the wipe over to see if there is some Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I use that a lot with a dry nail wipe because when you work with dark colors, for instance, our gel polish, uh, black is black. I love black, mm -hmm. but it's highly pigmented. So when you go over with your top gel and you do not do that trick, yeah, and drag it. you can drag it with yeah. and you have all black lines coming and running. And your nail art are oh, almost ruined. That's, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> so that's why, and it happened once. Mm -hmm. So that's whenever I work with dark colors, I do that, and yeah. it, it helps for me. Yeah, it's a very nice trick. I yeah. really liked it, and I like your. Thank you. Two, please. Hope you liked it too. Yeah. So we have another demo waiting. Yeah. Yeah. And it's from Joanna. Joanna from Ireland, our yeah. distributor mm -hmm. huh? for magnetic nail design, and. I already told you guys, and you of course, that I love Looney Tunes, and Joanna made one. Should we see it? Yeah! Yay. Lola Bunny! Let's go see! So Joanna is already uh, working on a bigger canvas, uh, mm -hmm. the stiletto uh, color pop. With white as white. With white as white gel pops, yes. yes. And I think she is working on that sticky lay because I see a little bit of shine. Yeah, I you think agree? you are right. Yeah. yeah. And she is using uh, Katarina's choice. Katarina's choice mm -hmm. and liner gel black, so that highly pigmented. That trainer uh, Joanna loves to work with as well. But she's not really, really painting. She's kind of sketching. Yeah. Do you see? Yeah, and she's sketching with the liner gel like yeah. we do it with the pencil. Yeah, with the pencil. Yeah, and she started with the eyes, so she had the center, so yeah. she know where the nose should be. Yeah. And it's a very cool way to do it, yeah. so you know how... Yeah, the then you know where the nose is going to be, and the mouth and the ears, of course, because those ears are a signature mark for Lola Bunny as well. So you need to have a part of the ears uh, on, on your design. Yeah. So really cool. And now it's the nose. Yeah. And actually, already you can see a little bit of uh, bunny. Funner bunny. Fun and now, bunny. yeah, a yeah. little bit further in the design. Mm -hmm. Now, really cool, really cool. So you see a part of the ears, but you create the illusion that there's more happening. Yeah. And um, uh, her design is falling off. Mm -hmm. Love those color combinations. It's a very nice color combination. Yeah. And the first one is uh, champagne yellow. Champagne yellow, mm -hmm. yeah. And I really love it. And uh, yeah. it, it looks like she had uh, mixed it with some... Yeah, base and top, uh, yeah, a clear to gel, make it more maybe uh, supreme finish, yeah. to make it more transparent, make yeah. it more aquarelle-like. So you see how covering our gel polishes really are. Yeah. So is this, this is maybe burning orange, burning orange yeah. uh, that, that orange uh, gel polish, and just blending out with a detailer 3 and just making soft movements. It's and now an you really have that aquarelle. Yeah, yeah, and it's an awesome way to cool, huh? get the shadows yeah. in the bunny. Yeah, but not really ha no. hard, soft. Yeah. And it's really, now, really soft movements. Yeah. And just using the tip of the brush, the detail three. And all cartoons are just a little more uh, uh, sweet yeah. in their blending yeah so that's why i also like she's yeah. using burning orange yeah i that. agree yeah so this is a more brighter uh, yellow mm -hmm. so the pineapple gel polish yeah love that color that's also a little bit of neonic in it yeah. that's why i love it so much yeah yeah and you are a neon out. girl i'm a neon girl yeah, yeah, you yeah. Are. i love bright colors mm -hmm. yeah so and just just look how she's playing one. with the brush all the way around yeah. to get every color smooth in together yeah of course, a tongue needs to be pink. Of course. And it's a girl, so yeah. it's really cool pink. And I also think she have mixed that with uh, a little bit of base on top. Yeah, I mm. agree, I agree. And that's a smart way. Yeah. That's why we love base on top, huh? A little blue for the eyes, of course. Oh, how and cute. And a, a tinier brush. Yeah. So now it's uh, uh, the detailer one, maybe two. Mm -hmm. So this is the top gel matte finish that we have. Yes. And that was the first matte top gel that we have. Oh. We now have the also extreme. the extreme mats, but this top gel has a sticky layer and you needed to remove it. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. And it's a little less matte. It's mm -hmm. sh half shiny. So it's soft shine. Soft shine, okay. And on that uh, top, she is going to paint. She's now painting with again with the Katarina's Choice and doing all the outlines. Yeah, and then she put over matte top yeah. again. And now she's doing the fun part. Yeah. I have never. And those aqua colors need a matte surface. Yeah. So you only can work with the aqua colors. It's a funny way to work with it. It's really cool. And it makes the design even more. Uh, yeah, graffiti. Yeah, graffiti like. Yeah, almost, exactly. Huh? Yeah, graffiti is yeah. the right word. 
and just blending, making it soft with the Detailer 3 in combination with Prep and Wipe. Mm -hmm. And just making those edges I really like it. Softer. I love it. I love it. So aqua colors need to be dry, mm -hmm. really dry, and then the top gel yeah, for your end Yeah, and here you have result. used the blush top gel. Yeah, yeah. Well, without a sticky layer, without of course. Without a sticky layer. UV protection, that is really important. Yeah. Aww, oh, how cute. Look at that, Joanna. So nice, Joanna. Thank you for showing us, Joanna. Really love that one. That was so awesome. Yeah. But Bunny. But is Bunny? But Bunny is not nothing without a. I don't know. Bambi? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. We have another demo waiting. Yeah. An awesome demo um, from Noemi. Noemi mm -hmm. Iba. And. Uh, Really, really beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And it's um, uh, Noemi Iba is, of course, uh, our national trainer from Italy. And she made a Bambi for us. She's so awesome. She is. She is a bomb. And Sorry. she's working on a real hand. Yeah. Love that too. I really love it. We just need to see. Yeah. And you will fall in love as we did. Mm. Have fun. <laughs> So, as I already told, a real hand. Yay. So That's awesome. Really? Mm-hmm. So, she is sketching and making those outlines uh, with the brush. I'm totally amazed that she's doing it with the detailer brush. But she is amazing. She is amazing. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't do that. No, but she can. She can. What can she not? Eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And really working soft as well. Yeah. So, again, uh, still now with the detailer brush. It's ochre yellow. I love this color. And this mm -hmm. is the color I use to pi uh, mix with the pink cream to get that nude color. But for Bambi, the ochre yellow, perfect. perfect and to make perfect. it a little more lighter, yeah. I think it's mixed with base and top. I agree. Yeah. I agree. To make it more soft. Yeah. And I love and how thinner. she worked with the pencil. Yeah. Just dragging down. Yeah. Go around. Just following everything, yeah. all of the lines. And again, Blending in and making some shade, but yeah. not using dark, dark. No. But this is a really reddish, brownish, brownish, red, really cool yeah. working with yeah. it, Bambi. And just you have some shade. Yeah. And I really love blending. this color because it's a combination of brown and red. Yeah. 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 It is not red and it's not brown. No. I don't know what we call it. But it really, it really works together. Yeah. So now for the eyes, and she really stays with the detailer brush. Yeah. And you love to work with this brush too. I right? really love yeah, to. Me but too. Me too. But the sketching thing, I will, I will never go where no. No, no. 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 And that's so cool that yeah. you have all those trainers from us. Yeah. Who have all a different way of working. I'm oh look! Amazed how she can work with the <gasps> brush. Now it really gets, really gets, uh, realistic. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. And look out! Look at the shading. Yeah, it is awesome. It is so awesome. And some and highlights, of course. Oh, and it's, it's really ton sur ton. All those colors really work together. Yeah. On that background, as well. On that background. <gasps> and that highlight in the eye. Oh. Love it. Just look how it got alive. Yeah. Just that little dot. Yeah. Huh? Beautiful. And everything is in the shadows. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> but just those tiny lines on yeah. top of those hairs. Oh, I love, love, love oh, it's it. It's so cute. And again, those tiny lines, still with the detailer. Yeah. And a little highlight on the nose. She's just oh, crazy. It's perfect. Oh, wow. I love so it. So talented. Oh, Aww. wow. And now there is also oh. a bunny. Very nice. So Thank you. awesome, Naomi. Yeah, I hmm? love the ombre in the yeah, back. Yeah, it was <gasps> very nice. So bright. I really like it. Love, love, love it. Yeah. Thank you for showing us. Thank yeah. you for showing us. Um, We are done, huh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But luckily, there will be a next time. Yeah, next Friday and, and next show. It's all about. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Can the you shorties? tell me? Yeah, 
blush shorties. Yeah. And no, look, look, look. Oh, beautiful. They are so awesome. Yeah. It's really trend. I like it. And I like how it's oh, and different. This you see a little bit of art on the shorty. Love it. Yeah. I love and it. And you out there should not forget no. to follow us on YouTube. Of course. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, really important. There you can see Subscribe. all the Nail Talk Lives we have done way back. Yeah. And you can see, get inspiration, see what others have made yeah 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 of course mm -hmm. so um, for next week um, Magda and Sarisa is going to present that show Lost Shorty so really interesting show waiting for you and please tune in again mm -hmm. so we want to say thank you thank, thank you, you for watching of course have a great evening um, big kiss from us see you and we see you we see you next uh, next time next when we time. present again see you at Nail Talk Live bye bye, bye.